during a snowstorm, a meteorologist tracks um, the amount of accumulating snow. So what I've already done here is we want to create a table. We're going to have to graph this situation. So our x value is time and our y value is the amount of accumulating snow. So at time zero, there's zero snow on the ground. So it says for the first three hours of the storm, the snow fell at a constant rate of one inch per hour. So that means at one hour, there's one inch, two hours, two inches, and three hours, three inches. Okay, then it says it stopped for two hours. So at hour four, there was still just three inches on the ground. At hour five, there was still three inches on the ground. It didn't change. Then it started again at a constant rate of one half inch per hour for the next four hours. So that means from five to six, there's another half inch. So now we're just going to go by half an inch. So 3.5 inches, four inches, 4.5 inches, and nine inches. And it said four hours, so we're stopping at nine. So once we have that table, uh, we want to go ahead and plot these points. Um, I've already created a scale here. So 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. So that's the first section where it's one inch per hour. Then it stays the same, right? It stays at three inches. And then it changes by a half an inch uh, each hour. So that represents the snow. Again, one inch per hour stays the same, half inch per hour. All right, so then it says if the snow started at 6 p.m., how much snow had accumulated by midnight? So what that's saying is if time zero is 6 p.m., midnight would be six hours after that. So this would be 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m., 12 p.m. So you can either look at your table or the graph. That means hour six is actually midnight. So that means there would have been 3.5 inches accumulated by midnight.